All right, are you ready to weaponize your business between now and Christmas? Well, you just better listen up because I've got a couple of ideas and tips that will take you from now through to Christmas with some momentum, some action, but more importantly, with some certainty. Because come Christmas time, as agents, you either have two feelings. Either you're gonna be feeling uncertain about 2018, or you're gonna have a feeling of certainty. So let's just get straight into it and work out what are some of the things that you need to be doing. One thing I do know is super achievers seek clarity. And what I mean by seeking clarity is they know what they want to achieve. So here's a couple of things that I would work out between now and Christmas. Number one is, how many listings do you want to take? Secondly, how many sales would you like to make? Thirdly is, how many market appraisals do you want to book between now and Christmas Day? And the fourth one is your calls. Let me tell you one thing, my friends. If you're not tracking and measuring, there is no change, there's no growth. You need to know the metrics of your business and take that data to help you achieve some of the goals that you want to get. Now, the other thing that you want to do between now and Christmas is really simple. Work out your marketing plan. Now, I've been sitting with some of my clients right now, working out the points that we need to do to make sure that you're not going to sleep, falling into a coma because you're not in action. It's all about being in action right now while everybody's having celebratory drinks and getting into Melbourne cafes and whatever. So, here's a couple of things that I would think about. Number one is get on the phone and ring every client that you did a piece of business with this year and say, G'day Tom, it's Claudio here. Just wanna say thank you so much. I really enjoyed selling your home back in March. I wanna wish you and Kathy a wonderful Christmas. Have a wonderful Christmas and I'll talk to you next year. It's a simple call, say thank you. Number two, work out your top 10, top 50, top 100 people that you wanna send out a Christmas card. Now, if you're one of these agents that go, eh, eh, Claudia, I don't believe in Christmas cards, don't do it. You've gotta have belief in what you're doing. Thirdly, what can you send to your marketplace to give them an idea of what was the market like this year? So do an end of year market wrap up. Do it two ways, either do it print or you can do a video. But you need to send something that's education based because when you send something education based, people see you as the expert. Another thing that you could be doing over Christmas in your marketing plan is, I don't know, what about a 2018 calendar? Like, you know what, my wife's got about three of those up on her fridge, I don't know. And when I was an agent just like you, I used to go into someone's property and I would see my calendar up in the fridge. So now is the time to order the calendar and get it into the post box before the end of the year. Another thing that I think you should be really considering is, you know what, it's that time of the year where we've got to give, right? So the art of giving, it's beautiful. You actually feel much better as a person when you become bigger than yourself. So what I mean by that is, what could you do in your community that you could give back? Because I always say, if you want the community to serve you, you must serve the community first. So perhaps maybe look at doing a toy appeal. I know one of my clients is doing that, and that's just amazing. So perhaps look at doing that. Or I've got another client that's looking at doing a client appreciation party for the people in their community for Christmas. Maybe do a street party in an area that where you serve and, I don't know, have all the neighbours come out. There are many ways that you can give back to your community, but you need to think about an idea of giving during this Christmas period as we go into it. Okay, look, there's a couple of tips, very simple. There's many, many other ways. If you've got some ideas, drop it down on our Facebook page and say, this is an idea that I felt that's really worked in my business when I'm going here. Remember, remain focused right between now and Christmas, stay in action, and always stay ahead of the curve.